Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of Terraria. My name is Kasanis. In the last episode we kicked some Skeletron, but it was pretty awesome and it cleared our way into the dungeon. You know what? That was a big mistake. <laughs> Going into that dungeon made it necessary to build this new structure. I had to build this brand new structure because of that dungeon. That dungeon was so difficult for me and you know what it was so difficult that I had to build a multi-layer look how many layers I got here a multi-layer grave site and it's 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 going to be full pretty darn soon you know I can start doubling it up in here I wanted to leave some space so flowers and stuff like that would grow around it but I had to build <laughs> four layers to house my tombstones oh my god it was so 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 hard now I recorded a lot of it but I'm I, I cannot believe I cannot believe how large the dungeon is it was huge and in fact I don't even think it's done yet I don't think that I finished exploring it yet I found everything I need to find I found myself the machinist I found myself the goblin tinkerer uh, I got myself this uh, this water this mystic bolt which actually is pretty darn good look at that look at that plus 12 percent damage minus 10 percent mana cost like this thing here is awesome 22 magic damage it is it is good it is it is it is better than actually than my superior space gun. Uh, the the um, knockback on it, it's super, super fast. I have full mana, so I'm actually just like spitting these things out. They bounce everywhere. They are amazing. They are amazing. And I want to thank you guys for the tip of picking up this water bolt because now that I found it, it's uh, it's just it's fantastic. I only go to my space gun when I absolutely have to now. Otherwise, I stick with the water bolt. In fact, you know what? Bam, right into my primary... Uh, my primary uh, shooting spot right there. My shooting slot stays there. My space gun goes down to the end. Uh, yeah, so I got that. I got this thing here, this this shadow key. No idea what it does. No idea what it does. I found a whole bunch of, of special chests, ice chests and, and jungle chests that say I need different keys. This shadow key, uh, I don't know what a shadow chest is. <laughs> no idea. Anyway, so I found everything I think I need to find. Find, I found the... Uh, all, like I said, all the other all the other dudes. I found the uh, mystic water bolt. I found the shadow key. I found a magic missile. I just I think I found everything I need to down there. I'm probably gonna finish it up. Uh, I don't know how much is left. There can't possibly be that much. Uh, but I don't know. It just took so long. Oh, I found the bone. This bone wand. Yeah, I found everything. <laughs> I found it all. One other thing that this mystic uh, thing helped me find. Look at this. It said. Once you have this thing, get a bouncing weapon and wait for a minute. And if I wait for a few seconds, I'll shoot that way. I'll shoot this way. In a few seconds, these things are going to come bouncing back at me. And that means that directly over my head is a floating island. It's a floating island. Let me see. It bounced back before. Come on. There we go. So that means there's a floating island over my head somewhere, which is pretty cool. We're going to go look for that later on as well. So yeah, I even found these hanging skeletons, which are all pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, guys, this is how I decorated it. I wish I could show more. It's uh, it's not too, too far. It's actually right next to my, my other house. Is, uh, my actual original house is right there, so it's right next to it. I built it on this this little space in between in this valley. Uh, I used bone doors, which I thought was pretty cool. To This is how the graveyard started. <laughs> when I first started building it, I thought, I'll have a little graveyard. And now it has grown this much already, this much already. It, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And maybe, I don't know. Now that I've got the Mystic Bolt, it actually makes a huge difference. I'm actually using this area up here as my, uh, as my, um, what's it called room? My alchemy room as well. And I'm going to put the imbuing station right here once that guy shows up. It's going to go right there. Um, yeah, so this is serving a double purpose right here. This is my steampunk graveyard. Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut to some footage of me playing right now. It took it took hours, and I'm not joking, it took me hours to crawl through that dungeon, so there's not a lot of commentary. I'm, I think I'm going to try and cut it so that you're only getting the parts that I'm talking in, and hopefully not only the parts that I'm swearing in, because I died that many times that I swore a lot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll talk to you all when it's done. Okay, guys, we are here in the dungeon. It's the middle of the night, but I've blocked it all off, so we are perfectly safe. Now, some of you guys in the comments told me I should be searching each of these uh, bookshelves, and to be honest, I'm not really sure how to search them. Uh, I can't right-click it. I know I can probably just cut it down, uh, but I don't know if that actually gives me... What does that give me? Does it show me the book? 
it just says book. All I got is a book. Now I'm looking for some kind of spell called the Water Blast or something like that, they said. So I'm going to search every bookshelf I find. But for now, we're just going to plunge right down inside here. Right down inside. I brought a lot of rope, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some rope up here. I'm going to take some of the stuff here away. Take this away. Bye. And I'm going to get myself some rope, which I got right here. And we're going to tie this rope up right here. This looks like it should go all the way down. All right, let's go take a look. One. Bookshelves. Oh, something on this bookshelf right here. How do I search this bookshelf? Can I just take it? Oh, I can't. I just right-click. Okay, perfect. And I might as well start dropping these things off along the way. Bookshelf. Oh, look at all the bookshelves, though. It's going to take for a long time to search. Oh, you can use them as standing on to stand on, too. Two books. Two books and a couple of shelves. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, I honestly have no idea what to expect down here. Like, not at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just cut it off right here. And if I find anything interesting, I shall definitely make sure you guys know about it. Okay, I will talk to you all very soon. All right, that looked like it was a mystic water bolt. I'm assuming that's what I'm looking for. 22 magic damage, 6% critical chance, very fast, average knockback, uses 9 mana, casts a slow moving bolt of water, 12 percentage, minus 10% mana. That's not bad. I don't know how to use it. Do I have to equip it? Let's see if I put it right here. What do I put it right there? Zero. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It all bounces and stuff. How much mana does it use? Not very much, actually, and I've got a bunch more stars. Sweet! Alright, I'm going to stop searching those bookshelves because I think that's exactly what they told me to look for. I did it! Quest complete. Now I'm looking for some lady who's got tied up down here. <laughs> There's something that casts magic spells at me! What is that thing? Oh, it's a wizard. He stands no chance. Against my lightsaber. All right, I made it through. Is this a gold key? It is. Nice. Eighteen melee damage, weak knockback. Is this any different than what I have? It looks the same. Mura Masa, eighteen. That doesn't. Oh come on, dude. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I think I see somebody tied up down there. I think I see you, lady. I think I do. Can I save her? How do I save her? Bound mechanic, and she's hurt. Thanks. It was just a matter of time before I ended up like the rest of these skeletons. Probably. Probably. All right, lady. Head on. Ah. Do I have to lead her out? I don't know. Yes, I think I do, don't I? Oh my god. Oh, I clicked outside. Lady, get up here. Something called a bone wand. What's that? Somebody else tied up down there? Someone else is taking damage. Mechanic, go home. Are you going to follow me the whole way? Do I lead you out? Let me see if I take you out. Do you follow me? Somebody else tied up right here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Tied Up Person. Thank you for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left here by the other goblins. You could say we didn't... My chick just died. 
You could say we didn't get along very well. I, it looks like it. If they left you here. I'm not supposed to leave you guys out. Just go home. I built you guys a house. It's amazing. Oh my god. You're gonna die as well, aren't you? You're gonna die as well. Goblin tinkerer. Yep, you died. <laughs> Dars was slain. Why didn't you go home when I told you to go home? The hell? How many of those things are there? <gasps> no! Alright, we'll try it again. Okay, guys, I think I died somewhere right around here, so this is where we're going to start up again, because I don't see any more potions. I do see that stupid thing that I tried to rescue. Let's go down and see what's going to happen. Alright, not cool. Lots of bad stuff down here. Tons of bad stuff down here. Can't see anything. I'm using the Miramusa, which seems to be helping. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, there's spikes. That's probably what was hurting me before. What are those things? What was. Th oh my god! I just got here! Apparently I was poisoned. He's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, that's that that poison thing. Shooting me. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die again. No! Angry bones killed me! Okay, now now I'm just mad. Now I'm just mad. Oh my god, come on. This place is terrible. Oh, shit, come on. Not gonna go well again. Alright. No. No! I hate this game! I'm starting to hate this game. I'm serious. I'm starting to hate this game. No, maybe not. Candle. Oh my god. I don't want to do this ever again. Never, ever, 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 ever again. This thing is absolutely amazing. This this uh, best tip ever. <laughs> Get the water blast or whatever it's called here. Water bolt. It just destroys everything. I, I'm at max on mana, so for me it's like no big deal. I can just toss those things all day. Oops. Pretty darn amazing. I'll put that down. Hey, 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 hey. None of that. None of that. Grab me this door. I'm gonna 
come back for that demonite ore later. What's this thing? Oh, a special chest. A special chest, it looks like. How do I open this? How do I open this? Some kind of leaf key, which I don't actually have. A leaf key. I've only got golden keys right now. So that's interesting. I guess I might get that in the jungle, is my guess. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Whoa, that was close. I don't know if the water bolt I have is particularly good, but it seems to be. It seems to be. What's this? Forceful magic missile. Nice loot all. Oh, I put the wrong thing out. Yes, a heart crystal. Thank you, heart crystal. I haven't found one of those in a long time, actually. I've seen guys with like four stacks of hearts. I've seen guys with like four rows of hearts. I'm here at two. Not even two yet. glowy thing over there. What's up with that glowy thing? You guys don't stand a chance. Heart crystal, glad I went this way. Lights too. I like lights. Chair. Yum yum yum. Let's eat that right away. Yay! 320. What the hell was that orange thing? Like some kind of fire thing. There it is again! I have no idea what that is, but I don't think it's good, whatever it is. Look at that, just tears them apart. This thing is amazing. Get rid of these candles really fast. There we go. Another freaking candle? These things are everywhere. Bikes everywhere. This place is dangerous. I don't care what anyone says. This place is dangerous. Can I pick this. I can still pick it up. Nice chest right here, and another heart. Gold chest. Loot all, what's that? Ruthless handgun. Nice. Where's that heart? Here it is. In the bonus spot. Oh, I clicked outside.
Number six, here we go, yum yum yum. Look at that, 340. Spikes. See more spikes. It's not gonna be good. No. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Okay, everyone, I think we are going to call this an episode right here. This dungeon seems to be never-ending. My inventory is absolutely and completely full. Uh, I found a d half a dozen of these chests here that I have no idea how to open. I think it's a silver chest, which I have no idea what that means. No idea how to open any of these things up. Inventory is full. Piggy bank's full. Trash bin is full. Everything is full. That means this is over. Uh, this dungeon, ah, it's so big. I don't understand, because I've seen other videos of people doing these things, and no one else has seemed to be this big. Why is mine so giant? Am I am I mistaken? I don't know. This thing just seems so massive. Get one of these out. Nothing over here. It just seems so massive. I don't get it. I don't get it. No one else has seen this big. A couple of videos I watched. Actually, I only watched one. <laughs> Maybe I should have watched more. Maybe my research is poor. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here because there just seems to be forever and ever and ever dungeon going on here. What I do want to remind you guys is I am doing a one-year-on-YouTube video. It's coming up my one-year-on-YouTube. It's coming up very, very quickly now uh, in February, February 12th to be exact. It's my one-year-on-YouTube, and I owe everything I, I've done to you guys and I want to make sure I'm giving back to you guys I want to answer your questions any questions you might have I'm gonna try and answer them honestly and uh, and yeah so what I would like it oh, come on, come on. what I'd like you guys to do is leave your questions down in the comments below if I use your question I will of course give you a shout out make sure I say so and so asked me this question they want to know you know what color your eyes or whatever you're asking uh, whatever it might be and uh, yeah that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing if you guys haven't done so uh, what I'd like you to do is just leave your comments right down below just say this is a one-year question and I wanna know blah 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 and I'll do it I'll do it I'll do my best to answer it anyway um, if you guys want to take a second and let me know if you enjoyed this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it both of those are equally good options both of those tell me a little something uh, and that's the important thing I want to know what you guys think about the content I'm putting out. If you don't like something, I'll stop doing it. Uh, this channel is not just about me, it's about us. It's about the journey that we are making together. Uh, that's how it started and that's how I want to keep going. I don't want to be all about what I want to do. I love playing video games and I love sharing these games with you guys, so I want to make sure I'm doing what you like to see and what you'd like me to do. So make sure thumbs up or thumbs down, each of those are equally good. I don't mind either one. Uh, honestly, I don't. Do not feel bad. I think you have to give me a thumbs up. Don't feel bad. If you give me a thumbs down, I don't feel bad. So don't you guys feel bad. Alright, and you know what? If you haven't done so, make sure you guys take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.